Hey guys, uh, Adele here. It's Tuesday night where I'm at, so it's still Tuesday. I'm not late, unlike last week. It might not be Tuesday by the time I upload this, but that doesn't count. I'm making it right now and it's Tuesday. That's important. Um, this week's topic is on dating and relationships. And um, I actually have a lot of experience in this uh, department. Not necessarily like lots of people. No, I've only ever dated two people. But um, the person I'm dating right now, we've been in a relationship for almost three years. Whew, that's a long time. Um, and we're really happy together. Um, I have a boyfriend, and his name is Sky, and um, everything's pretty good, you know? But I think as wonderful as our relationship is, it's important to acknowledge that having um, an unusual gender still complicates things. Um, just because of the incredible heteronormativity in um, our society, um, people look at us together and they see a boy and a girl because he's a cis boy. And since I'm designated female at birth, well, I must be a girl, right? Um, and that makes me really uncomfortable. That's actually one of my biggest triggers of dysphoria is knowing that other people look at me and him together and see us as being straight. And, um, up until recently, he considered himself straight too, but it was really good because he acknowledged that, at least on some level, that wasn't entirely true. Um, and we ended up talking about it, and he was, you know, asking how that would work with my gender, how his sexuality would work, and so we talked about this together, and, um, I think that... In these kind of situations, it's important to acknowledge that everyone's sexuality is fluid. You know, there's always those exceptions where you're like, yeah, I'm really straight, but then, you know, I ended up dating this other person and I fell in love with them, but they're not the opposite gender of me. So how do I deal with that? And, um, I don't really, we didn't come up with a good universal solution to that kind of situation, like a good term or anything like that, except that um, he's so gosh darn monogamous, and we're kind of opposites in that area, and um, so we decided to jokingly call him an Adele sexual, get it, because he only likes me, just this, nothing else, only this magnificence right here, yeah. And, um, you know, this uh, discussion that we had that went on for kind of a while, I really saw as um, part of what made our relationship so good. Um, another thing that kind of bothers me about our relationship is another thing that's, um, like, externally influenced. Um, my friends will sometimes joke with me and they'll be like, aha, Del, you're the settler and he's the reacher. When they like, um, when I finally showed them a picture of him and, um, I kind of knew that would happen because, um, I am more conventionally attractive than him and, um, I knew that people would just look at our appearances and judge our relationship based on that. And so I've been labeled the settler and he's been labeled the reacher. But I just described to you a situation that shows how good and connected and on a same level we are together. And I think that just really goes to show how much appearances matter to people. Just like the appearance of us being straight um, bothers me. The fact that people judge us based solely on our appearances also bothers me. We have such a good relationship. We are so involved with each other. We care about each other so much. We're so connected. And to me, that really shows that neither of us is the settler. Neither of us is the reacher. We've both found someone we connect to at that same level. And so I think what really ends up being important in a relationship 
is that you connect with someone, that you find that person on your same level, that they respect you as a person and who you are, which includes your gender identity. Sometimes I'll hear about these non-binary people. I'll hear stories on Tumblr about how frustrating it is when um, usually their uh, cis male partner um, has these lingering um, like transphobias and uh, misogynies because you know everyone ends up having those but they the, the non-binary partner in the relationship oftentimes either has to really um, fight against their partner to try to like force them out of those views and there's a lot of pushback against that or the non-binary character a uh, non-binary person um, just stays quiet and essentially takes it. And to me, that's a subtler and a richer um, situation. If someone isn't willing to try to understand you and to try to understand your perspective and to try and um, compromise with you, then you're settling. You're settling for someone who doesn't treat you right. You shouldn't settle for someone who isn't as attractive as you. I think that is kind of shallow. I mean, attractiveness is important, but what really is the most important is that they care about you. So don't settle for someone who doesn't respect you and your gender identity. Just get rid of them. You know, they're not as connected to you as family is. It's easier to just push them out of their life. If they're not good for you, get rid of them. Because it's just not worth it. A wonderful relationship is wonderful only if that person actually cares about you. Um, that's about what I have to say on that topic. I could ramble on for a really long time. I love talking about relationships. Um, I'm kind of a hopeless romantic and having a boyfriend doesn't really help that at all. Um, yeah, but we have some other important things to go on about. You might have noticed that Cephium hasn't been posting any videos. That's our Monday buddy. Um, there, uh, he's gonna be gone for a little longer. Uh, we're not sure how much longer, but um, he's assured us that he's doing all right. So um, don't worry, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> um, also, Alloy has um, permanently left the channel. We're really sad to see them go, but uh, that's just the way it's got to be. It's better for them. And um, they're still going to be um, on uh, our, uh, our Tumblr blog. Um, and they're still going to be a um, moderator on that. So if you want to talk to them, you can go um, do it over there. Yep, so kind of sad we got to say goodbye to Alloy. Yeah. Well, hopefully we're going to be replacing Alloy with someone um, soon, though. So, yeah, new exciting things in store. Okay, bye-bye, guys. Have a good week.